So it's October, so we're still doing the frightening 100 wonders or 100 terrors. Uh, there's gonna be like eight of them, so eight terrors. In the northwestern part of Iceland, in the small rural town of Holmavik, is the Icelandic Museum of Witchcraft and Sorcery. In their collection is one of the most extreme fashion statements ever created. This is Caitlin Doty of numerous amazing things, including Death Salon and the Order of the Good Death, but also the YouTube series Ask a Mortician, an incredible YouTube channel. Thank you, and your biggest influence. That is right, 100%. Before we start, Dylan, I have a favor to ask you. Yeah, sure, anything. Okay, so when you die, I need to dig up your dead body. Okay, I mean, you that seems like you're the right person. Is this for like for science or? or? Um, you know, sort of. So step okay. one, I'm going to skin you from the waist down, but I don't want you to worry. It's going to be really aesthetically nice, like no tears or holes or anything. Okay, but why would you need to skin Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so glad you're into this. So then I'm going to wear your flayed skin like leggings. Then I'm going to steal a coin from your destitute widow, put it in the scrotal sack, along with an Icelandic magical symbol, and... That's right, Dylan. I'm going to turn you into a pair of now broke, or as I like to call them, necro pants. The only place to see the aforementioned necropants is in the Museum of Witchcraft and Sorcery in Iceland. They're actually, they are a replica. In theory, the way necropants works, you place a coin in the downstairs area and then it creates money for life. It just produces more coinage. There has to be some sort of drawback to like the money crotch. There, it can't just end there. Yeah, part of the deal with the necropants is you cannot die wearing the necro pants. If you die wearing the necro pants, you are in a lot of trouble. First, your corpse will be lice ridden, which is like way not as bad as having necro pants made out of your body. Like, <laughs> no, getting... I had lice as a kid. Right. Big yeah. reveal. <laughs> <laughs> I think also your soul is damned uh, forever. Which is, that's kind of the, like, that's the rub. Okay, but so why, in that case, why was this even a thing? There's an out, which is all you have to do is give the pants to someone else, but it's like a very specific <laughs> ceremony, which is that you have to, someone else has to step into the left leg while you're still wearing the right leg, and then you can step out of them. Like, they can never not have, they can never be empty. There was this, like, hilarious tableau common in Iceland? You could not say this was common. In fact, much like in 17 19th century America, witchcraft was illegal. And interestingly, mostly men in, in, Iceland, in Iceland, it was really? mostly male witches that were, Very interesting. were hung. Along with necropants, which are represented in this like Icelandic stave, this lovely sort of rune. The other things are like, protect my barrels from leaking. <laughs> Ward off foxes. <laughs> Luck in fishing. It's a pretty pragmatic list of of sorcery. Until you get necro pants, and like, oh, it's no, like no, record no. skip. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, my very my very favorite uh, Icelandic sorcery rune. Necro pants are not no. your favorite. No, it's the protect yourself from magical butter rune, <laughs> so that you make sure the butter you're eating has not been produced by magic. I can't you... believe it's not butter. <laughs> oh, but it is. <laughs> ah. Do you remember that? I can't believe it's not butter. Spray. No. Do you remember that? I can't believe it's not butter. Spray. Into if you're spraying it into your mouth, you can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not butter. That's your first sign. <laughs> Watch more videos here and subscribe here. It shows you how difficult life was in 17th century Iceland that this was the easy way out. People were like, all I have to do is cut off my friend's dead legs and make skin pants out of them. <laughs>